Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I want to talk about the platform that's in my 4Runner and uh, just give you a little bit of the ins and outs of the design and how I decided to build it, as well as talk through some of the dimensions and ways in which you can build your own. So uh, this is a pretty affordable platform option. I think it's a great one for starting out. Um, I may improve it or change it in the future, uh, but for now I want to just do a walkthrough and hopefully this can help some of you build a full vehicle platform uh, to fit your needs. So let's check it out. All right, so you've all seen this back portion before, but this darker carpeted area, this is what I did another video on, and I'll uh, link it up in the top if you'd like to watch that video and you haven't seen it. But this is the part that I keep in my 4Runner at all times. Uh, it's got the two side compartments and then the big hatch in the middle where I store lots of miscellaneous things like maybe fluids for the vehicle, you know, maybe camping chairs or a socket set or jumper cables or things like that that can be super helpful when you're out and about on the road. So just to kind of give you a little sneak peek, these flip up and then this can open. And uh, I just store a variety of things in here. It's nothing too crazy. Here's the left side. And then here's the right side. And like I mentioned in that other video before, you can see this cutout here is really handy for this outlet that's on the Forerunners, as well as this cigarette lighter power supply. So, and also I realized that these cubbies back here, they hold a two inch receiver super well. So I like to keep my two inch receiver in there when I'm not using it to keep it out of the way. So in that other video, I showed you where I put those turnbuckles on the platform. So those mount right into this loop here in the corner of the um, trunk. And then there's another one over here on this side under this stuff as well. So we keep some random bags and whatnot in there. So those turnbuckles hook into those anchoring loops and then the platform hardly moves and then for the front of the platform under this large compartment here is the other two turnbuckles see them and they hook into these loops that are right behind the middle row so all right so now we're, I'm going to show you a little bit about the middle section so I wanted this platform to have some space under it but it's really difficult to create a platform that's gonna lay level and be durable and also have good storage that can go in the back here. So most people will not remove all of the seats because they have this latching mechanism down here. It's really hard to remove. So I just remove the you know bottoms of the middle row and then this can all sit in there. And there's these big two by eights that help secure the platform as well as level it out properly so there's some space under here it's not a lot of space but it's better than nothing i think and so i'm going to show you how i did that so all of these areas that are part of the platform they also hinge up so this opens like this there's some compartment space under here it's not a ton but at least you can utilize the foot space in front of the seat and then this is that large compartment that i showed a little bit ago uh that show that's where the the back platform latches in. This is just good storage for random large things that maybe take up more space than you're, you know, willing to sacrifice in other areas that are very accessible. But then, you know, when the platform's in your vehicle and you're traveling, this is probably the least accessible area in the vehicle. So I would recommend putting things in here that are, you know, stuff that's not so essential. So it's the middle of summer here in Minnesota and I've got my <laughs> snow scraper in there, so obviously not gonna use that during the summer. So let's talk about the other side. The other side is pretty much the exact same as that side. Uh, we've got another one that hinges up here, and um, as you can tell, they're kind of like personalized pouches. So like this side is typically my side, and that side is my wife's side. So whichever side we're sleeping under, you can then access as well from the door. And then this space in the middle is kind of just like a common space. We keep our dog stuff in there and uh, it's just extra storage. So um, this platform area is super nice when the car is level. This whole area is level. Um, and I'll show you a little later why it's level. 
There's a lot of very custom measured pieces to this platform and I'll hope to do a, a breakdown of all those dimensions at the end of the video. So keep on watching if this is really helpful for you and if you want to build something similar. So just to give a little better perspective on the space inside the cubbies, like here in front of the seat, I have some extra room because it's moved forward for the dog platform as well as just so that I have some more leg room when I'm sleeping on the platform. Um, but like inside this middle compartment, there's quite a bit of space, but it's, it's nothing crazy. As you can see, the platform sits for the dog bed right on top of the armrest, and it kind of covers up those vents, but I think we can manage without them. And then for the side compartment, which is the same on the other side, there's this space here which fits like a thin duffel bag, uh, which I use for clothes typically, and then down there, there's our Clorox wipes uh, stash for COVID times. And then down here, there's actually quite a bit of space where your feet would go, so. You can also slide things in from the side like this, but I typically use the access doors on top because it's just easier. And again, here's that big flap where you can just store random things, so. So how I secure this part of the platform into the vehicle so that it doesn't bounce is Basically what I do is in here, there is a turnbuckle right there that hooks into one of the holes in the bottom of the, uh, the butt area for the middle row. And then there's another turnbuckle right here that hooks into the same hole on the other side. So those two turnbuckles pull this whole platform this direction towards the back where the back platform is anchored really well. And so this part right here, I just put in these small pieces of wood every time that I put the platform into the vehicle. And then this platform is super well anchored. And then this platform pulls very hard against that platform. So everything seems to stay in its place. And I just want to do a quick talk through of how I put in the dog platform. So this is a little support that fits inside that little uh, rectangular area in the front in the console. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that right after this. Uh, so this fits in there and this is another support in addition to the armrest that helps support the dog platform. So let's check it out. So here you can see that the dog platform, it's very custom cut to fit in this special space. And those little indents sit on the armrest in the door. And then this platform curves through. It's a nice space. Our dog's about 50 pounds and he fits there great. Just to give you perspective compared to the size of the window. I move this passenger seat forward slightly so that I have more head space since I'm about 6'3", so I would like a little more sleeping space than my wife who's shorter than me. All right, so let's talk about teardown. Uh, basically, this platform I can completely remove from the vehicle, which is what I think is the best part about it. Um, 
some of the like goose gear and other things one they're super expensive um, so if you're trying to do something on a budget they're just not as feasible but two uh, these options kind of can completely remove from the vehicle when you're not traveling like myself I, I love to overland and I'm setting up an overlanding rig but I don't get to go overlanding every weekend so um, it's nice to be able to remove all of this equipment so to start with the dog bed it's super simple I wanted to make it low profile so that I can take it out when we're driving around and you know on the trails so this sits super flush in the trunk because I don't want it to be some big mechanism that has folding legs and everything so it's super easy tear down um, you just open the door it'll fall out from the spot that it's latched into and then you just can lift it up and rotate it out and then pull out this support leg from inside that cup holder next let's talk about how I remove this middle section so first we have to re remove the two turnbuckles that are in this platform area um, there's one under this door right down here and then there's another one on the other side in a similar position so all right so let's remove those turnbuckles all right one turnbuckle removed perfect turnbuckle two removed and if these are ever really tight still you can just use you know your common crescent wrench and uh, they'll come loose quite quickly so now that we've got those two removed nothing is anchoring this in the vehicle anymore it's just sitting in there and it's made of pine and two by eights and plywood so it's fairly heavy so that helps with anchoring it but now well, all i have to do is i fold this back i can remove these boards just for additional ease but basically it's just freestanding in there so now i can flip it up and pull it out and i'll show you how i do that So just to kind of show where those turnbuckles mount in, I'm going to just put these seats up. As you can tell, the bottoms of the seats are out and they mount into these just four locations here with four bolts. And so it's super simple to take them out, but the hole that I use to hook in is right here. So I use on that spot and then also right over there. So I apologize, my car is really dirty. I'm gonna clean it out right now. So um, that's where the turnbuckles mount in to the middle row. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to put these seats back in just because it kind of shows the process of me tearing down and setting up the platform. So we'll set this part up here, just like that. this one up as well and then these seats just they have little uh, metal pins that push into the anchor spots that I was mentioning so you just line those up latch them in and then I always keep the bolts in the side pocket and then you just line these up and start screwing them in Make sure they're good and tight so that they're safe. There you go. And then these little black caps just clip over the uh, spot where those bolts. Heard wind chimes or something. Is good. Bizarre. All right, perfect. One seat in.
All right, both are in. Just to go with the little preview of the trunk with the back part of the platform in, but not the front part of the platform. So pretty good space. Seats are in. And our dog hammock is also in. So yeah, I think that sums up the uh, platform walkthrough. Thanks again for checking out the video. I really appreciate you checking out my content and supporting my channel. Um, if you want any more details or if you have any questions about the platform, Feel free to comment down below in the comment section and uh, like this video if it brought you any sort of value and if you like this content and please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot and it helps out my uh, channel and the YouTube algorithm. So um, if there's any specific content you'd like to see in the future, comment that down below and uh, I appreciate you tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.